My name is Eric Nathan, and I'm the composer of Some Favored Nook, a song cycle I created with librettist Mark Campbell based on texts by Emily Dickinson and Thomas Wentworth Higginson in their long correspondence. You may have read some poems by the poet Emily Dickinson. She is one of America's greatest poets, but in her time, she was hardly known at all. Um, Higginson, you may not know, but he was very famous in his day. He was a writer who supported women poets, and was also the commanding officer of the first black regiment in the Civil War, the first South Carolina Volunteers, where he fought to abolish slavery. My composition, Some Favored Nook, is nearly an hour long, and it looks at Dickinson's struggle to be a poet at a time when it was exceptionally difficult for women to have careers as writers, and Higginson's struggle to end slavery. The song I'm going to share with you today is titled, There Suddenly Arose, and it is about a moment on January 1st, 1863, where President Lincoln's Emancipation Proclamation uh, that abolished slavery was read to Higginson's soldiers in the First South Carolina Volunteers. I set text that comes from Higginson's diary entry, where he recalls that after the proclamation was read, the soldiers started singing one by one the song, America, my country, tis of thee, joining in together until the whole regiment was singing and everyone had tears in their eyes. I wanted um, to set Higginson's words to music and to use the music to help us feel an emotional connection to this powerful moment, but also bring it alive in our minds and ask us ourselves what it may mean to us personally today. One thing you can listen for is that I've quoted the famous song, America, My Country, Tis of Thee, and you'll hear it faintly in the background of my song. So this song I've quoted very faintly and slowly played in the background by the pianist's right hand. It's in a completely different key and in a different speed than what the singer is singing. The singer is singing Higginson's words. And the pianist's left hand, they're playing in yet another tempo, another speed. So we have three different worlds of tempo and key um, mixing together here. When I played this song for some students, one said that this setting made her realize two things, that she could see how Higginson, a white man surrounded by his black regiment, must have felt somewhat like an outsider when experiencing this moment, and that he and we today can never truly understand how the soldiers felt when they were singing together that day. I love it how music can impart meaning and invite personal interpretations that are not explicitly stated in the lyrics or in the words that are being sung. So I hope that you can listen and to begin to think about what this song may mean to you. The President's Emancipation Proclamation was read. There suddenly Of thee, as if 
Oh! 